All right, turning to the coronavirus pandemic, a big step forward in the race to vaccinate more Floridians. Uh, four federal COVID-19 vaccine distribution sites will be opening up, one of them right here in South Florida. And those sites will be open 12 hours a day and will deliver 2,000 vaccines a day. CBS4's Joan Murray joins us live from Miami-Dade College, the site of one of those future distribution centers. Joan. Uh, Lauren Keith, this is really exciting, and we are standing on the spot that is going to be transformed in just a week and a half into this new federal vaccine center. Right now, this is where they do testing on the campus, but it is going to be transformed into a vaccination site for some of the most needy people here in South Florida. It could be a game changer in the race to get more COVID shots and more arms more quickly in underserved communities. Starting next month, Miami-Dade College North Campus will become one of four federally run vaccination sites in Florida, giving 2,000 shots a day. The goal is to launch vaccination sites that use processes and are in locations that promote equity. The campus is already a vaccination site, one of the few where there isn't a long line, and they honor appointment times. A lot of space, and you don't bother all the streets, and it's very well organized. It's a tremendous win-win for District 24. The upcoming federal site is in the heart of area congresswoman Frederica Wilson's district. We will be able to close the gap for African-American people and Hispanic people to be vaccinated, which is so important. The site will be up and running first week of March. You will have to pre-register for the vaccine at myvaccine.fl.gov. They're going to be doing walk-up appointments, so people are going to be expected to come in, drive in, get out of their vehicle, or simply take public transportation and get off at Miami-Dade College and be able to walk over to the vaccine station. With studies showing some skepticism of the vaccine in the underserved communities, it may take some convincing. While her family is getting vaccinated, including her 89-year-old father, Alicia Perez says she has heard the naysayers. They uh, feel unsafe about the vaccine. They, have, they want to take more time, see what is the reaction they, they have. So there's going to be a lot of outreach going on. So the plan is to get this site up and running by March 3rd. Again, that's only a week and a half away. I asked Congresswoman Wilson when she expects that the vaccine is going to be extended to beyond the 65 and older group, and she said she expects that will happen by April. In Northwest Miami-Dade, Joan Murray, CBS4 News.